Welcome, Yoga Shakti, Online Astrologer, and as you see, I'm living in paradise, Norway, so I'm very far away, which means I'm doing most of my work online, my forecast readings, my astrology, counseling, so uh, if you haven't done so, please sign up for your subscription, so you make sure you are kept in the loop for whatever upcoming uh, astrological uh, forecasts I'm preparing. Uh, I also love, love, love to hear back from you because it's kind of hard to keep this going if it's not some kind of a dialogue. And uh, I promise I will get back to you with whatever uh, comment you leave me. So today forecast reading will be all about the upcoming solar eclipse in Virgo, September 2015. So what is it about a solar eclipse which gets people so interested? So I'm sure our ancestors were looking up the sky, being able to see with the naked eye the sun was darkened out by the moon, uh, coming in between the earth and the sun. Uh, that it was a very magical, mystical experience for them. And in a way, we still have that sense of something we can see up there in the heavens must have some kind of an impact onto us here on Earth. And it does. So I want to present to you today an astrological perspective onto the upcoming solar eclipse and what that means in general, but then specifically for you to see how it impacts you as an individual, uh, it would be interesting to see where that solar eclipse in your birth chart is happening and how it connects with the other planets in your chart, which all represent different inner aspects. And then you will really have an in-depth experience of what will happen. This has been the second solar eclipse this year, and it is in Virgo, happening September 12th or September 13th, depending where you are on the planet. It will happen exactly 11.41 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so from there you can see when it will be for you on the 12th or the 13th. A little bit about me. My name is Shakti Karola Nevrin. I'm originally from Germany, have been living on Maui for 20 years now. So I'm doing most of my work online, sitting at the computer, doing my forecasts and do astrological counseling, which I am very passionate about because after 37 years, there is no doubt in my mind that it truly deeply helps us to live our highest best potential in this lifetime. And the deciding factor is of, is of course our state of consciousness. So astrology is a wonderful way to widen that state of consciousness into a wisdom perspective. So the key of manifestation is your state of consciousness and uh, how you can use those informations you have about the archetypes to really make better choices in your life. So this is what uh, my forecasts are all about, to, to describe the, the possibilities of the archetypes and its low end and high end manifestations to give you choices. So solar eclipse is always a new moon. And what's happening with the solar eclipse is that the moon is briefly between the sun and the earth. And because from our earthly perspective, the moon has the same size as the sun, we have this darkening and wiping out the light for however long it lasts. So we all know that the new moon is already a beginning of a cycle of the moon uh, of the months and it's a powerful new beginning. But of course here it's really a notch up and, and it's important uh, when we have a solar eclipse, a new moon solar eclipse. It's a powerful ending of something old and a new beginning. And eclipses can therefore be compared to rebooting your consciousness, like you're rebooting your computer with new updates. You know, like your computer doesn't work somehow and you shut it down and, and restart it and, and then it suddenly works. 
So with eclipses, it's a little bit like that. So the solar eclipse kind of reboots your consciousness, your conscious mind. And the lunar eclipse reboots your inner world, your emotional set point, your unconscious drives and motivations. So here are the dates for 2015. We have one more solar eclipse coming up, the one we are talking about. And we have one more lunar eclipse coming up at the end of September. So I'm going to prepare a separate video for that. To find out what this specific solar eclipse is about and to dive in a little deeper into the mystery of it all, we need to look at the importance of the sign it's happening in. So this one is happening in Virgo. Virgo, a very down-to-earth practical sign. So there will be low-end manifestations of possibilities, how we integrate those extra celestial influences into our life and there are opportunities waiting for us. So uh, I always believe that by expanding our consciousness and being prepared for what kind of transit or planetary energy is entering our life, we have a much better choice and more access to a high-end manifestation of what manifestations are available for us. Let's talk about Virgo then, the Virgo personality. Virgo is known as the sixth sign in the zodiac and uh, it's a sign of Earth and it's symbolized by the archetype of the healer, the teacher, the mentor and the servant. So what's underlying all those qualities is that uh, willingness uh, and focus to be of service, to be useful, to be skillful enough in a specific area to make a difference, to make a difference for others. Each sign is ruled by a planet. So here Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury we know as a communicator, as a storyteller, and here the Mercury in Virgo is especially attentive to detail. So there is this earthy quality of applying our mind, our ability to, to learn and understand things. Virgo themes. Virgo is known for sensing how things could be or should be. So Virgo uh, is kind of connected to the archetypes, uh, the the, the higher potential of being. So, and then when we always are connected with the highest potential of something, of ourselves, of other people, so of course there's always that gap between who we are and our limitations and that who we uh, could be in, in, in the best scenario. So Virgo shadow has to, to, has to do with a sense of discontent, discontent with a sense of uh, being very critical, critical towards others, but especially and also critical towards themselves. So that's not an easy uh, shoe to walk in. So because of that, Virgo is always uh, striving to become better. So self-improvement in, in many ways, that's something Virgos are always into. Because of all those qualities I've been describing, here's how you can ride the wave with Virgo projects this month. So because of this endless efforting to become better, this month you have with the new moon in Virgo the chance to balance that efforting in general, not just as a Virgo, but we all have areas where we seem to push and, and uh, uh, extend more effort than, than is good for us. So it's really about self-love this month. So, so balancing life with self-love. So everything you can do this month uh, consciously to be kind with yourself because this is where it starts. When, when you learn how to be kind and loving with yourself, of course, and it's easy to extend that to others. So learning self-care and well-being, 
this is what is up this month. Isn't that a wonderful thing? I always like to look at the practical applications of the astrological principle we're becoming aware of. So with the Virgo, the Virgo project starting this month, uh, especially this month with the new moon solar eclipse, uh, one area to, to discover a new or deepen is what we would call skillful service. Finding an area in your life where you can contribute, yeah, where you can feel good with your specific skill set and who you are. So to make life just a little better for somebody else. And uh, if you don't have a, a a job, a professional expression to the level where it feels deeply satisfying yet, then volunteering and, and finding projects where you can make a difference, where who you are does matter, is extremely important. So looking into that whole subject is an invitation posed by this solar eclipse. We talked about self-improvement and uh, how uh, inspiring for your own sense of self it is to volunteer, to, to contribute to your community. And there are so many ways to do that. Uh, but I also want to point you towards the activities of paying attention to your own health. So there are activities which are specifically in the flow this month. Uh, for example, uh, cleanses, like doing a colon cleanse, uh, having a physical, um, reconsider your lifestyle. Is it really a healthy lifestyle? How many hours of the day are you sitting without movement in front of the computer? Are you exercising? Uh, what is your food like, your diet? I'm not talking about losing weight. I'm talking about really getting enough uh, nutrients into your body. I mean, we all eat this more or less processed food, which doesn't have really much nutrients left and a lot of toxicity. So to really be healthy and stay healthy and, and well in your body, uh, once in a while it's good to, to take a look and do an update. So how are you doing? Are you regularly detoxing your body uh, with cleanses, with infrared uh, sauna? Uh, are you exercising? What's your diet like? So I would like to inspire you here to sit down with your journal and have a deeper look. When I talk about the duration of this month, I refer to the cycle of the new moon. But of course, it's more than that because of the solar eclipse energies. It's like we we kind of planting a seed this month. And then from there on, it will start growing into a plant throughout the coming year. So, and a plant to really grow beautifully needs water, needs nutrients. So this is... Uh, up to you how well you take care for that seed of Virgo being planted this month and how far you take it for your own uh, health, physical health, emotional health and well-being. One of the birthstones for Virgo, well known, is the sapphire. So it could be the blue sapphire or the yellow sapphire. And whenever you use a gemstone, you kind of support a specific frequency and uh, help balance something you might need to support and help in, in your birth chart. So uh, if you want to get in, a, in deeper contact with the energy of Virgo and help yourself to find the high-end expression of Virgo we have discussed, then the blue sapphire or the yellow sapphire would be a good stone to play with. So the healer, the mentor, is describing the overall worldly and spiritual powers the sapphire supports in us. So I call it the gemstone for peaceful mind. So we're all running around 
with a very busy mind, with so many challenges we, we are facing every day. So the sapphire can help us to balance, to find that equilibrium, that higher wisdom perspective onto life. And uh, with that peaceful energy, uh, we are better prepared to meet challenges. If you have not done this yet, now is a good time to sign up for a free subscription. So you can uh, stay informed about future forecasts coming up. You could also sign up for my newsletter that will uh, keep you in the loop. And uh, if you go to my website, maoastrologyreading.com, I also give you a free report for what I call your love stone, which is based on the Venus position in your birth chart and you get your birth chart. So please like the video, that helps uh, with the rating. And let me know if you have any comments. I'm always happy to, get, to hear from you and uh, we'll get back to you. If you're really interested in astrology, i like you to know that I do teach astrology classes for beginners once in a while. So uh, it could be something you're interested to learn for your own inner process or to start a new career. Uh, either way, uh, connect with me, send me an email and I will let you know about the specifics and when the next training is going to start. Here's how you can reach me. You can either call me. Uh, remember, I'm in Hawaii because of the time zone. So my number is 808-878-8182. Or you can head over to my website, send me an email. MauiAstrologyReading.com and uh, so long I do this work, so more excited I am about it. So with 37 years of experience, I love to do this work and love to hear from you. And uh, if you want, we can do your astrological reading through Skype or if you can't do that, we can do it on the phone. So I'm looking forward to hear from you. Thanks for visiting. I hope to see you soon again. Aloha.